Hey! So I'm just back from college after a day of sitting in the library and doing work and lectures and blah blah blah. So I want to make something really quick and easy because I am so hungry and I'm going to get all the leftovers from my fridge, all the vegetables and stuff and make kind of like vegetable hash brownie things. So yeah, enjoy! I want to clarify by hash brownie things, I meant hash brown things not wheat brownies. So here I have got some potatoes, courgette, some coriander, spring onion, carrot, garlic, and some chilies. While your potatoes are cooking, I want you to strain all this grated veg to get all the liquid out. A muslin cloth would be best, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use this vegetable bag that I got in Aldi. So, wish me luck. <laughs> so, I just whisk it around like this, and then and all that liquid comes out. Oh my God, that was such a bad idea. Once when I was younger, my siblings dared me to eat a whole bird's eye chili. And I was a real smart ass and ate the whole thing without chewing, thinking that I'd beaten them. And then I had horrendous stomach pains. A couple of hours later, I thought that my stomach was exploding. Life hack. I'm gonna grate the potatoes into the bag. You want them so they're cooked, but not like super, super soft. And you definitely wanna skip, keep the skin on because that's where all the really good nutrients is. Still hot. Break my hand on the pan. Can you see it? So sore. So I just tried to squish some of the water out of this. I wanna keep all the starch in it so I don't want to rinse them because that will help it stay together. Oop. Just mix it all in. I'm also going to add in some gram flour which might kind of make it a bit like um, onion bhajis. I don't know. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Gram flour is a really good gluten-free binding option and also vegan, like it kind of works as an egg replacer if you mix it with a bit of water. So it's really, really handy if you're vegan or gluten-free. About a tablespoon. Mix in a little bit of water. Not too much though, because we put a lot of chili on a heap of salt. In hindsight, it would have been really good to salt the courgette and potatoes and stuff before draining all the liquid out of it, because it would pull all the liquid out. If you're doing it at home, I recommend you do that. I'm also going to go in with some onion powder. It's all stuck. Garlic powder. Paprika tiny bit of mustard powder. That was a bit of rosemary that came out, not a insect or something. And turmeric, because why not? So get your pan nice and hot. Okay, once that's sizzling, roll them up, just squish them in your hand to make them into little pancake things. Working. 
Okay, so the fry did not work. Um, I'm gonna try to just scrape them off the pan and put them in the air fryer. Let's see. I put a bit of parchment paper at the bottom of the air fryer so they don't stick. And I'm just gonna, it's really hot, so I'm just like, eh. This is how they turned out. Um, I think I'd recommend just baking them from the beginning. I think that the frying didn't go well. Maybe if you did a non-stick pan, it would be good. But now I just like really oily. Um, and they're nice because they've been there fryer, but I'd recommend baking if you want them to be like a little bit healthier. Um, and it also took me a while. I'll put down in the bio how long it took me, but let's do a taste test. I'm gonna have it with some vegan bacon eggs. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes like um, bacon fries. Well, I'll try it without it first. Mm. It tastes really good. So I definitely recommend the recipe, but non-stick pan or bake them. But I think the oil also adds the extra niceness because they're kind of like deep fried. So I did the ones, the leftover mix uh, in the air fryer, just plain in the air fryer, and they look really good. Definitely do them in an air fryer and oven. Um, just make sure you cook them for long enough because I think the middle is a bit raw, but overall, they taste really good. This was a cheap student meal. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful in some way for trying to make meals out of the bottom of your fridge. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks. Bye. A little end note. This is my finger now. So sore. Burning. It's gonna be a big blister. <laughs> Worth it for the hash brown things. <laughs> Whatever they were. <laughs>